Hi everyone, it's Terry. Today we're going to continue in our studies in my design center for new owners. I hope you will join me in this lesson and follow me by practicing on your machine. Right now, I don't have my embroidery unit attached, so I can't scan, but I can certainly design. So let's get started. So let's select my design center. We'll continue following some of the things that I shared with you in the last lesson. But first, let's talk about memory. When you store in memory here, and remember you're storing drawings. And these drawings are not digitized until you actually take it into embroidery. And if you stored them on the machine, like I stored a couple of things here, what I want to show you is that to erase these, you delete them one by one. Now, obviously, if I had saved this to a USB stick or to an SD card, I can erase several at a time. So we'll just go ahead and delete these individually. And for that reason, what I like to do is I like to remove quite a few of them, except for the ones that I want to keep. And then what I do is I save it to a different storage option. Okay, let's choose cancel. You can also take that design, like for instance, what was on the screen, and you can open it by selecting and choose OK. So here's that design on the screen. I'm going to clear it because we're going to focus on a couple of different things today, and we'll focus on our line property tools. When you want to draw something, the first thing you want to do is change the stitch type to the one you want. So I'm wanting to choose a motif stitch, and what I want to choose is stitch one, and I want it to be blue. So I'll make those selections, and I can choose my drawing tool. Now these are straight line tools, and as opposed to filling an outline on a shape, and I'll show you that in a moment. But you will notice right here that I have what is called the open shape tool. I have a closed shape tool, a straight line tool, and I have one that's straight line. They call it changing direction. I call it more like a point to point. Let's look at how each of these works. So if you'll notice now I have the open tool, I can even take my finger and look at this. I now have drawn a shape. That could be a straight shape. It could be lines like this, but basically it is not something that's closed. Let's all clear to and leave this first design on the screen. Let's go back and change that tool, but we need to go to properties to do it. We'll change our stitch type just so that you can see the difference in some of the stitches and the attributes. Let's make this green and let's choose this tool and let's choose OK. Okay, what happens when you choose the line tool that ha has this line attached to it, the close line, if once you release the mouse or you stop drawing, it's going to close it for you. So you see that you can create irregular shapes with this. And you can do that again with your fingers. So you can see that it's following that line and you can see the shape that looks something like, let's say, a pond. Let's look at the next tool. We'll go back into our properties. This time we're going to choose a different stitch. We'll choose a different color and we're going to use a straight line tool. Now the straight line tool is just that, but if you wanted to have perfectly straight lines, go out and get your grid because this is a perfect way to draw straight lines. So all I'm doing is clicking and you notice that line's attached. I'm using my left mouse button and I'm letting go. Now, can I do that with my finger? Yes, you see it's attached. And I made sure it's straight, I let go. Now I'll follow my line to try to keep it parallel. And I'll let go. So now I have those straight lines and it, these are the attributes that are attached to it. Now let's look at a few more things. We'll look at the next one, which is called point to point. Now on that one, let's choose this hot pink. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here in this area because I want to show you something. I'm going to make a little triangle. So I'm going to touch. You'll notice that I have this box. I'm going to turn off my grid because I want you to see what happens is as you touch each point, 
it's drawing that line and to close it i'll just click inside that box i now have that triangle and that triangle has the attributes that i have selected on the screen let's save this to memory because we're going to change a few things and i want to show you something so when we go in here, there's a couple of things that I want to show you. It's generating those stitches. And one thing you'll notice is as it's crossing lines, it's reading these as different sections. So I have the stitch types that I selected. I'll zoom you in so you can actually see those stitch types here. But the thing that I want to show you using the hand, you can pan, it's selected this, even though that's a curved line. And let's see if we can change that portion of that stitch where it crossed that straight line and change it in any way and if it affects what's on the other side of the line. So let's change it to a different color. Let's change it to red and see what happens. And now it's red. And if I use my selection arrows, I can move down to any portion of that that has crossed, let's say right here, if I wanted to change that to a different stitch type, I could do that as well or to a different color. In fact, let's do that. Let's change that to gold and choose OK. So now you see that. The other thing that I want to show you is that you have different properties on stitches and I want to show you a few things about the stitches we selected in the properties. You can move through these by either touching them. In this, this case, I was able to touch that. And what I want to do is I want to change this and make it larger size. Now, it will go up to, I believe, 50 millimeters. But let's just leave it there. And you'll see that it's now generating what those stitches would look like. They're not stitches yet, but you can see what it would look like on the screen. The other thing you can do, and let's go ahead and let's choose what's called join here. Now what it's done is it's joined all these motif stitches. And let's say I want all my motif stitches to be 15 millimeters and choose OK. It's now converting all of those motif stitches to that 15 millimeters. Let's give it a moment. So you now can see that. Now the other thing you have is something that's called flip, uh, flip the, the stitch. They're all grouped together and what this does, remember this was drawn on a line. What I'm going to do is flip it and let's see what happens. And what it will do is it'll move it to the other line of uh, other side of a shape. So it'll be inward or outward. You may not notice it so much on something like this where it's a straight line, but you definitely will notice it on a shape. So let's look at a couple more stitch types so you can understand about their properties. So for the stitch type that is this V stitch that we use down here on the triangle, what you can do with that is you can increase the width of it, and we'll do that, and choose OK. You can also, I said width, I meant height, excuse me. You can also increase the width of it as well, so let's do that, and choose OK. And then the next thing you can do is you can change how many times this is stitching. Right now it says three, that's the thickness. I'm going to change that to one. And then you have one more selection and we'll look at that. And that selection is if you want to flip it. So let's flip it and see what happens. So we now have flipped this, so it's on the other side of the line. And you can see it's now on the outside. Let me zoom you in to 200%. We'll use the hand. And you can see that this is flipped in the other direction. I'll flip it one more time just so you have a closer look. And 
and now you see what it looks like again. So now let's just go ahead and go to 100% and we'll talk about a few more things. We're going to select the chain stitches and here they are. With the chain stitch, you can increase the length of this chain stitch or the size of it. We'll go up to five millimeters and choose okay. And you'll see now that the chain stitch that I had selected has increased to a larger size. If you wanted all your chain stitches to be changed, you would link them all together. And you notice this is grayed out because, or blacked out, if you will, because I didn't, I made a change to one. If, if they all had the same attributes, you could change them all at once. I'll show you that. And we'll change them all to five millimeters and choose OK. We'll give it a moment. And now let's go in and let's see if we can change the color of all of them. And we'll change it to this kind of purplish color and choose OK. So see, it applied everything to those colors. So we've talked about all the different tools for line drawing. We talked about some editing and that, but I do want to cover another topic. So I'm going to save that to memory just so that I, I save it at this point because I don't want to lose my changes and I'm gonna, I'll choose return. Let's talk a little bit about selection. If you want to select something like this individual line and we'll choose that by using that pencil, you can easily select that and you can cut it and remove it. But anytime you try to select, like for instance with this pencil and it's crossing another design, sometimes it will select all of it. And we'll find out whether it does. We'll go ahead and, and cut that and see what happens. And it was able to select that pencil portion okay. Let's choose this line and you can see it just selected it and we'll delete it. If you ever see that when you select something though that it chooses what's between the top and, and the bottom where it crosses something and let me give you an example. We'll choose close and we'll just draw something. Let's go back. Let's choose, let's actually, let me back up. Let's go um, clear our screen. And let's go get a shape and let's get a heart. Let me find one and we'll go in this category, which is called closed shapes and we'll choose a heart. This is a good month for a heart. Now let's go select a different tool. We'll choose this pencil. We'll choose green and choose okay. And we're going to cross that line. And let's just choose next and let's see what it looks like. So we have the red heart and then we have this green line going through it. Let's return and let's choose a bucket and let's go in and change a color and let's change a zigzag and let's choose blue and choose okay. And what we're going to do is touch this line. Now, when we touch that line it change that line, even though it intersected and let's choose next. And you see that what it did is it didn't change the attributes of that heart. That's good. Let's return. Let's try a couple of other things. Let's go back to our properties and let's say we didn't want to see that line. What we're going to do is choose no sew. That's what this means. We'll choose okay. We'll take that bucket and we're going to apply it to that line. Now, if you hear that click, double click sound, it means it's already applied. Let's choose next and let's see what happens. So you see what it did is in effect, it erased that bucket. But one thing that I don't know if you can see it here, let's go to 200%.
you can see that there's a little bit of residue here and I don't know if that residue you can see it there and there if that's going to go over an embroidery let's choose set and choose okay and you can also see it here in embroidery so when you look at this you can see where that line intersected because it's slightly darker and there's like a little stitch there so there's a couple of things that I wanted you to think about as you're working. And sometimes you're going to notice that there's some odd things that appear. I don't know if this is the way that the developers intended for this to work, but I do want to show you some, some examples of things as you're working so you'll know how to work around them. I'm Terry Maffitt. I hope you enjoy my videos. You can find me on Facebook in the Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire group. I appreciate your time as always and have a great day.